What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W and today we're going to go over Friday's recap on my trades. I want you to check these out because there's a good lesson here. So check it out. I do here is I'm going to show you what happened to me. We're going to recap my Friday, uh, my Friday morning before we jump into those, uh, Q and A's. We're gonna go ahead and recap my Friday morning. There it is. So my Friday morning, I traded on Friday was Tesla, and my Friday morning consisted of this. Tesla opens up and it just starts trading sideways. Pretty big range, We're talking about 844s all the way up here to 856. That was a real nice over 10 point range we were trading in uh, on Tesla in the morning. Okay, the day trader chat, the day trader show says that uh, the watch list for the week is up at the day trader chat room.com. I'll bring that into a frame here once we get over this little recap. So, right here, you know, we opened up big gap up, big gap up. I was mad at myself because. Uh, on Thursday, I went four for four, had a great day. And right here in the close, I was going to swing a call. But I really wanted Tesla to get up over, over 820. And then I was going to hold on to that call and to the next day. And uh, it didn't. It got stuck at 816 multiple times. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to I'm not gonna take the risk. I'm just going to close it off here. It's, it's already hit close to my profit target area. But uh, I'm just going to take it off here and not hold it. Uh, that was a big mistake. Because Tesla gapped up from A16 all the way up here. So the, those calls, those calls were up over $30 a contract. I knew better. I knew better. But anyways, Thursday was a real nice day. So then on, on Friday, I came in knowing well that that I was a, a little bit mad about Thursday. So I said, I'm going to be ultra focused on Tesla. I'm going to try to nab this because I think we have room to like, you know, 8, 888, 90. And, uh, and Tesla just started trading sideways here. I did not touch it in here. I didn't touch it in any of this. I was very, very patient. And then we had this one drop. See this one drop right here? This drop right here was prime because I told you guys to watch those 840s in pre-market. I told you guys, let's watch 840 for support. We came all the way down here. We tapped 838 and then quickly popped right back up. And that huge wick right there was so much buying power. I was like, you know what? I think this is going to go now, and we're just going to pop over VWAP and boom, right to 880. That's what I thought. So in this very next candle right here, right there, we pop through VWAP. I get long some calls. I didn't buy the stock itself. I get long some calls, and then we pop over 850, and I'm like, okay, we're going to go. So I added, and then we just get stuffed and come back underneath VWAP. I was so disappointed. When we came back underneath VWAP, I, uh, I stopped out. I stopped out all those calls and uh, I was mad. Then we get this rejection of VWAP and I'm like, okay, well, I shouldn't be too mad. I stopped out good. Well, the loss wasn't big or anything. And that was a normal loss for me, like a normal loss, you know, within my risk parameters. Then in this candle here, we pop above VWAP. You see that pop right there? And I get long here. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, now we're really going to go. And what happens? We break underneath VWAP again. And I start to realize, you know what? This feels like you're going to get chopped up. It feels like you're going to get chopped up. So right as we break underneath VWAP here, again, I stop out. Again, I stop out. Only for Tesla to regain VWAP on the next candle, hold it, and then start to go. So what I did was in this candle is where I got long again. And right there, as soon as we made that new high, boom, I got flat. I got flat. And that brought me back like... 81, 82% of my losses uh, from this chop fest that we had encountered in here, okay? But had I not been red here, which caused me to think a little bit too emotionally, when we popped up above here, I would have taken one pro one contract off like normal, right? I only had two. I only had two. I would have taken one off, and then I would have held on to one, one more for the extension, right? And that one more would have brought me well back into the green like big time big time like it would have been a huge home run uh day if i would have held on long enough it would have been a grand slam day so i missed out on that run right there 
I missed out on that run right there, and I was super disappointed uh, in that. But, you know, psychologically, I didn't allow that to make me chase or, or mess me up for the day. Guys, I just wanted to interrupt real quick and let you guys know that for five days, you can join us just for five bucks in the chat room. You get access to a course tailored out just for you. You get access to many of our resources, your own dashboard, access to the live chat with live scanners that are being streamed every single day along with my charts and our commentary as well as alerts. So check that out, link in the description section below and also in the comment section. Also, if you're not really an active trader, you're more of you know somebody that's trying to make money on the side and learn a little bit about investing and stuff like that, you can join my channel members here on YouTube for just $4.99 a month and you get private mentorship sessions that are just for you guys as well as private videos and stuff like that. There's a little tab on the bottom next to subscribe that says join. You click that and you can read more about it. You also get a special icon on your name when you comment on my videos. And uh, if not, if you don't have an, if you have an iPhone, you won't see that join tab. But if you scroll down to the comment section, you'll see the links there. You can just click there and follow along and uh, learn a little bit about the membership here for just the paid portion of my YouTube. So then what I did was I, I just waited you know, all day long. I wasn't sure that I was going to trade it again. I really wanted to trade this VWAP Browns right here, but I didn't. And that was a mistake because I pushed up to new highs right there. That was a huge mistake on my part. And it was a good pullback to have bought. It was not a bad pullback by any means. Then later on in the afternoon, after lunchtime, that's when I uh, came back in here and I was like, all right, let me see if I can at least nab a little scalp here. And then right before the close, Oh, I remember this. When this happened, I was like, man, this looks good for a short scalp. You know, just a little a little scalp, not looking for Tesla to dump or anything like that. But that break underneath VWAP, I got on the mic. I told the guys, you know, this looks like it could be a, a good short scalp here. I didn't take it, though. That's a shame. It was a, lot, a few points there that could have been made. Even here, like, really? Had Tesla gapped down? Okay, had this not had been a big day of a run-up or something? Had Tesla just kind of gapped down a little bit or or gapped up and just looked like it was done. You know, this this attempted break of VWAP here in rejection, that would have been the area I normally would have gotten short. But I'm not about to short Tesla and up, you know, in front side strength. But then in the afternoon, right there. Let me zoom in for you real quick. We had this re-break, you know, we had this, Drop underneath VWAP, VWAP rejection, and we finally break through VWAP, reject it one more time. But if you notice, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. Right here when we break through, we gave this one quick little pullback in here. I got long just one contract. It popped up. I took it off. Uh, I took it off and uh, just made a few bucks back. I was actually up nicely on those contracts over $2 a share. I ended up taking it for like 75 cents a share. Uh, on those contracts, so I booked. I could have booked myself a green day had I taken it off when I was two dollars up a share on those contracts. And I didn't do that, right? What I did was I held them, and uh, you know, when we came back down a little bit, I was like, "All right, no, I don't know what Tesla's going to want to do here. It could get choppy. And we're getting towards the close. Boop, just cut them, and right there, I made back you know a little bit more money that I had lost in the morning. So I wound up the day making back either ninety or ninety-one percent." Mm -hmm of my losses, I made them back on the day. So I only ended up losing 69 bucks on the day, which is great, you know, it was great. So we're killing it, we're killing it at the day trader chat room guys, and I'm super proud of all of you. So, all right, so we got some more people coming in here. I just wanted to, uh, you know, let you guys know about the recap for Friday. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this recap. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video and smash that like button for me. It goes a long way helping the channel and I'll catch you on the next one.